Hello and welcome to the second video about how to use the email facility within Blackboard. You'll notice that this is a video that helps you out with the second task for preparatory weeks one to two and that is sending an email to me, Alison Devine. I'll be your academic tutor while you're on this module. So again we use that left hand side menu in Blackboard and we click on the link that says email and you'll see the centre screen change to the email tool. There are lots of options, but please don't let that bother you. The one that I use most frequently is selecting single users. That's this one here. Um, you can, of course, if you want to, select groups of people, um, all the tutors, all the other students on the module, or just simply everybody involved with the module. But to send a, an email to one particular person or two in, in particular, I usually use the select users option. So I'll click on that and you'll see now that everybody's names appear in an available to select box. This might be the, diff the big difference between Blackboard email and regular email. You don't need to remember anyone's email address. You basically highlight their name, use this right hand side arrow here to make sure that the person you want to email actually now becomes selected. And then just like regular email, you start typing a subject line and please excuse my blurb, you just start typing your message. Just like regular email programs, you can also attach a file to your email. And of course, task two requires you to do that. Uh, for task two, I would like you to please send me a Word document that tells me about your learning experiences or your working experiences with simulation-based training in clinical education and tell me what you found useful what you found counterproductive, what you found challenging, uh, what you found interesting. So the pros and cons or good and bad experiences of either learning, training or teaching using simulation at work. It doesn't have to be uh, volumes and volumes. Anything ranging from a paragraph to a page is fine. But please put your name on a Word document and send me that file as an attachment to an email for task two. So to attach a file to your email, click here, and then just as you would, click choose file to go through your computer to find your file. When your file is ready, click submit. There we go. And you can see here at the top of the screen where my cursor is, that the email has been sent to its intended recipients. So that's task two for preparatory weeks one to two. Please send me, Alison Devine, an email and attach to it a Word document telling me about your learning experiences with simulation in cl for clinical learning. Thanks.